It has not yet got into people's heads that we have to take risks, even as a society, to push green tech forward because it solves the problems. We have a world first here that has extreme potential for the next 5, 10, 20 years. We are simply building the most sustainable computer in the world. There are a lot of possibility to develop green technology in Dresden. So from my point of view, the topic of green tech is not new. But it has been pushed forward here in Dresden for a long time because the innovative power of the research institutions here leads to these spin-offs with these new ideas. We are researching things that will be relevant in perhaps 10 or 20 years. I can only refer to companies like Heliotech. Through this university in the city, it is also known that ideas are born, that they are born in a garage, that they grow. Organic solar cells. These are these flexible, extremely thin and light modules. It also allows photovoltaics to be on surfaces that have hardly any load-bearing capacity, which are flexible. On building facades, even between wind turbines. And that is also the logical consequence when we have developed the technologies here that we should also manufacture the first products. To produce such a module, a 10 times smaller amount of CO2 is produced than ever a silicon solar cell. We use technologies to ensure that digital infrastructures are made truly sustainable by integrating ourselves into existing infrastructures and exploiting certain potentials in order to make them energy efficient, respectively sustainable. That is the mission of Cloud and Heat. Green is simply a topic that affects a lot of young people. Climate change it is there, so to speak, and that really gets people to work with full power, but also to work on us. We are also trying to involve all our employees and to be a pioneer as a sustainable company. For us, the topic of sustainability here at the Dresden site plays a very important role. On the one hand, we have a CO2 neutral production, but on the other, it also plays a major role for the topic of delivery. This means that we offer our customers a CO2 neutral collection of the vehicle. And this means that the entire delivery is accordingly CO2 free. We are working on battery technology for the future. The battery itself is a key component for a green future, for the green mobility of the future. It is also a question of new applications, for example in the field of electric aviation, where even lighter batteries can open up completely new applications. This is especially true for short distance travel, where the battery could be used as the main drive component. What we are seeing here is the world's first building made entirely of carbon concrete. In other words, if you replace reinforced concrete with carbon concrete worldwide, we would save 80% CO2 in this sector alone. The TU Dresden itself, or rather Mr. Kurbach and his colleagues, actually invented the material back in the 90s. So in the final analysis, textile concrete was born, if you will. And later, of course, the whole thing was developed further. And we simply realized that these carbon fibers are so efficient that they should actually be used not only to construct buildings, but also bridges and other large structures. We want to build in a way that is as climate neutral as possible, that uses as few resources as possible, that allows our future generations to continue building. With these methods, we want not to consume anything, but only use what we have. In Dresden, we design and build electrolysis plants and we rely on a very advanced technology, a very clean technology, the so-called proton exchange membrane technology, which has the very special property, as one of many, that it can be switched on and off very, very quickly. And that is precisely why, when I think of a wind turbine, for example, which would have to be switched off as soon as it produces surplus electricity, then it is the case that instead of switching it off, I can also quickly switch on the electrolysis and practically convert this surplus electricity directly into green hydrogen. 
That's good for the environment, because with our know-how, our knowledge of plant construction, we make these technologies large and thus applicable on an industrial scale. And with that, they can in principle be turned into industrial products, which then ultimately lead to large-scale CO2 savings and green technologies will become prevalent. Our most important mission at the moment is plastic. We have the only machine that is able to profitably turn plastic back into crude oil at scale. We can break down waste oils back into base oil and solve one of the biggest environmental problems on this planet. And we currently have, not without reason, the most successful sustainable fertilizer on Amazon. And these are three technologies that we have started with. Let's see what comes next. We came to Dresden because we find excellent conditions here. First of all, Dresden has always been an energy region, we have Lusatia nearby. And the research institutes, universities and companies here provide us with a lot of skilled workers who can also work very well in the renewable energy sector. Secondly, their political support here is good. And thirdly, Dresden is simply a great city to live in. People like to come here. I think that here in Dresden we have an incredibly high awareness of the need for sustainability. Perhaps also because the first opportunity to mention sustainability came from Karl von Karlowitz. He was a Saxon who actually said 200 years ago that you have to plant trees in such a way that you still have enough for each new generation. Basically, that was the explanation of the principle of sustainability. We can access a talent pool that doesn't happen very often. And we are lucky that many people apply to us from the region who just never want to leave because they studied here, because they live here, because they have learned something special. I think Dresden is very well positioned in this respect. As you know, we are a microelectronics center. With organic electronics research, we have a high density here and can therefore tackle projects that would be so difficult to tackle elsewhere in Europe. On the one hand, we can develop and offer solutions here at the location and, of course, profit from these developments. And I think we are well equipped because we are not just starting this.